Hi, good evening. My name is Antonio Samuel, and I'm happy to have my son Leslie Samuel and his family visiting from Michigan for the Christmas holidays. Now, one of the things that he delights in when he comes home is to have uh, a drink of a good homemade Marby. And therefore, tonight he wanted me to show him and demonstrate to the rest of you how I make my Marby. Now, first of all, let me explain that Marby is a local drink that you find mostly in the Caribbean islands. It is made from the back of a tree. Okay? It is made from the back of a tree. I remember my mother taught me how to make Marby when I was a little boy. And my father used to go in the lowland area where they had a lot of Marby trees. He would cut the branches of these trees and then he would back it and he would dry it. It looks something like this when it's dried and backed. And therefore, at the end of that process, we will have it stored and make the Marby drink from it. Now, I will use the Marby back, as I said earlier. I will take a piece of the orange peel. And uh, after it has been properly dried, I would mix it with the Marby back. I'll also take some aniseed. And I would take a little bit of cloves. A little bit of the uh, cinnamon stick. Now you don't have to do that if you don't like cinnamon. And a little bit of the bay leaf. So I mix all these ingredients together and I bring it to a boil something like this. All right. Now this when it is boiled, it is very, very, very bitter. So you will have to dilute it with water to the taste that you feel is good enough for you. Add some sugar to it, to the sweetness that you desire, and then add some vanilla to give it the type of essence that you want it uh, uh, taste like, and then it ends up being like this. Now this is what I'm going to use for my leaven tonight to make my mobby from, because if you don't use this, it will not rise the way you will want it to rise. I love my mobby to rise. Now I have my boiled mobby back and all the rest of the other ingredients. I'm just going to throw it in a, a separate pot so that I don't have, and I'm going to strain it so that I don't, I don't have the leaves and so forth falling into my mobby. Because when it is made, I want it to be just a clean, nice tasting drink. Now I must say, that when you, you are making this Marby, this is very, very strong and concentrated. All right? You want to taste it? All right. I can give you a little taste, but it's going to be very, very bitter. All right, because my boiled Marby is very concentrated and very bitter, I'm just going to throw a little bit into my mixing pot. Just about that amount, because it's very bitter and concentrated. Okay. All right? Then I'm going to throw quite some water into it. Okay, my trick is to dilute it in such a way that it does not become too bitter or too light. So I will, will first of all taste it and see bring it to the bitterness that I desire. Okay? I'm going to taste it now. Mm, it's too bitter. Alright, so I have thrown about three of these uh, jugs full of water into it. I'm going to throw another jug into it. So it's about four of these jugs to my pot. And then I'm going to taste it and see if the bitterness is a little... Mm-hmm. That's the bitterness I deserve, desired. Now, it's up to you. You can make it as bitter as you want, or you can lighten it as much as you want. Now, I'm going to add my sugar. Now, because I've been making it throughout the years, if this, I, I don't like it too sweet, but at the same time, it must taste good. So, I'm going to use my discretion again, and I'm going to put in the sweetness that I deserve, desire, 
and you can do the same. Just to give you a little idea of how much sugar I use, I use about four scoops of this and I put it into my diluted Marby drink. Four scoops. One, two, three, four. Now, this bag is about two kilograms, just about enough for this pot mm -hmm. when I'm making my Marby. But I like to taste it first, so I won't throw the whole bag into it. I will stir it, make sure that it's well stirred, and then taste it, see if it suits my taste as far as the sweetness and the bitterness is concerned. Now, if it's not sweet enough, I'll put the rest of the sugar. If it's not bitter enough, I'll just put a little bit of the, of the Marby uh, concentrated in the uh, mixture that I'm making, and then we are ready to go. So I'm going to continue now. I use my wooden spoon to stir the Marby, and I stir, and I stir until the sugar is diluted. It's not ready yet, but I'm tasting it to make sure that it is coming to the taste that I desire. Mm. In my opinion, it lacks a little bit more sugar. And then I'm going to put in my vanilla essence so I can give it a real good taste. I put about one spoonful of this. That's enough for this. I'm going to put a little bit more sugar. In fact, I'm going to put the whole bag, the rest of the sugar in it. I'm going to taste it and make sure that it tastes... Yeah, I think it tastes good. Now, let me say that some people start, stop at this point and they drink it this way once it has been cooled. But I like my Marby to rise. So therefore, I'm going to take a little bit of a bottle that has been already made. I'm going to throw a little bit in the, in the Marby that I'm now making. And this will become the leaven that is going to make the rest of the Marby rise. You don't have to throw the whole bottle in it, just about half. You will always hear some people say, a little leaven, leaven it the whole lump. This is what is happening. Now my Marby is ready to go. I stir it around a little bit. It's going to get stirred up anyway. And then I'm going to take it because it's too heavy for me to lift that way and I want to make sure that I didn't throw it down. I'm going to take a little bit out and I'm going to throw it in my jug. There you go. Okay, if this was all the Marby that I was going to make, I could leave it in the pot and leave it there and let it set so that all the dregs and everything will go to the bottom. But I'm going to be making about three batches of this. And when I'm through, I would like the entire uh, set of Marby to taste alike. So I'm going to put it all in one big jug so that when I'm through, it tastes the same way all over. Okay, then when uh, that is completed, I will leave it set overnight and in the morning, I'm going to bottle it. Now you can use whatever clean bottles you desire to have it done and I'm going to leave the bottles once they are full. And by the way, you must always make sure that you fill the bottle before it starts to rise, else it's going to give you a lot of problem when filling the bottle. So by the morning, tomorrow morning, it would be good time for us to just fill the various bottles. For this process, usually I use clean bottles this size, but for this mixture that I'm making this time, I'm going to be using the, the bottles like this so they can hold a lot of it. And then we will leave it on the table until it has rise, because the first thing it has to do is rise. You'll see a lot of little bu bubbles coming. And once it has rise good enough, then you put it in the fridge because you want to have a cool glass of Marby drink. And that's the end of my process. Now, there are other people who make it differently. I'm just telling you how I make it. And by the way, 
Leslie tells me, yes, when it is made, it is tasting delicious. <laughs> and that's my story. <laughs>